In this video, we'll be installing a J-frame vertically mounted main breaker in an NQ 225 amp panel board. This same kit works for an H-frame breaker as well. The first step will be to install the mounting pan on the panel board. There are two holes on each side of the mounting rails of the mounting pan that align with the mounting rails of the panel board. The next step is to remove the lugs from A, B, and C phase of the panel board. Next, we need to prepare the breaker for the hard bus connectors that are included in the kit. In order to do this, we need to understand the feed direction. We're going to do bottom feed in this video. The kit comes with two terminal nut kit bag assemblies. The smaller one is for H-frame, the larger one is for J-frame. In order to install the terminal nut kits, we need to remove the lugs from the line end of the breaker. This is done by putting a screwdriver, a flat bladed screwdriver into the slots of the lug assembly and prying it out. The terminal nut assembly is installed into the breaker simply by taking the rounded edge and sliding it towards the breaker and pressing in until it locks into place. You'll hear a snap. The breaker is now ready to accept the hard bus connectors. <clears throat> The kit contains three hard bus connectors, one for each face. There's an X on each one to denote the top surface. The wider side of the hard bus connector goes towards the panel board and the narrow side engages the breaker. Each of the hard bus connectors is designed to utilize the center hole on the bus bar. There's a hardware assembly card that comes with the kit. There are three screws, one for each phase. These are to be used on the bus bars. Loosely install all six screws, but do not tighten. The screws for use with the breaker came with the terminal nut kit. Next, we'll mount the breaker to the breaker mounting pan utilizing the two screws that came in the kit.
Next, we'll finish securing the hard bus connectors to the bus bars of the panel board. Next, we need to torque all the connections per the torque requirements specified on the hardware card and in the instruction bulletin. Next, we'll install the dead front brackets into the breaker mounting pan. The dead front bracket has a foot that engages into a slot on the mounting pan as an anti-rotation feature. Next, we'll modify the dead front assembly by adding the main breaker cover. To do this, we remove the lug cover on the line end of the panel board. The last step in the process is to install the main breaker label. 